Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, right now, I'm doing a little bit of chores around the house. Um, dragging the dumpsters to the back of the house. But we are about to get ready to wash the car for the first time. And also, I want to talk to you guys about starting a mild Mad Max build with the 2010 Honda Civic. And by mild, I will explain what I mean in a little bit. Let's just go ahead and jump into this video. This is where we Like I said, welcome back to the channel and check this out. The piece that goes on here broke on my compressor. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's broken right here. Like what you need. And let me show you the other piece. So this is the other piece that goes on here. So it goes like that. Um, the first gauge is for the pressure in the tank the second gauge is for the pressure that's going to be released out this way out into the line so i'm thinking that i'm gonna have to go try to find one of these pieces i don't know if they sell that by itself but it looks like it's just like a t that connects the gauge to this and of course this thing right here and then this this piece right here so maybe a little bit more than just a t a t with a side piece so either way I'm gonna try to find that piece I don't know if I'm gonna be able to but I will try and I'm gonna go ahead and wash the Civic right now the Turbo Civic and we're gonna be using this stuff that's right here this is the Voodoo Ride uh, car soap safe on all finishes tough on dirt gentle on the finish so this is what we're going to be using to wash it so i'm going to throw you guys on a quick time lapse but after that we're going to be talking about this civic exactly what's going to be happening in the next few weeks
All right, we got the Civic put away. And you guys are probably wondering why I haven't finished uh, spraying the fenders, the hood, the front bumper. I still have not bought a respirator. I've been actually trying to get everything ready to start on this build, um, which I will explain to you in a few seconds. But I still need to paint the fenders, the hood, the front bumper, as you guys know. Um, the other thing is that thing that broke on the compressor. Uh, it's a huge problem. I got to get that fixed. Got to find the part for that so we can have a working compressor, which I am going to need for this project. So the compressor is a must these next few days. I'm going to try to fix that, get that going. Um, another thing is that we are getting near winter already. You guys can see all the leaves are falling and it's getting pretty cold outside. Like today, it's a pretty nice day. Um, it's like 65, but this whole week has been like cold. It has been down to like the 40s around there, in the high 50s. But besides that, it's been pretty cold. I gotta get this car ready and get it situated for the thing that we're gonna do. So let me go ahead and tell you guys what's happening with this car. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the car out here to the driveway and then we'll talk about it. I've been watching too much Creative Garage, so I'm repeating their word. Let's talk about it. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, this is my 2010 Honda Civic. Um, I've owned this vehicle for around five years, I believe, something like that. I've never done anything to it. It's completely stock this whole time. This has just been a, a little uh, daily, nothing else. Um, I do keep up with everything that needs to be done to it. Recently, about, I would say a year and a half ago, some lady sideswiped me, which I have a video of. Um, she hit me on this side, right here, is where she started hitting me, and she came in this way and just completely sideswiped me. She jumped onto oncoming traffic, went around me, uh, uh, swiped me, and that was pretty much that. Either way, um, we're going to go ahead and I was thinking of starting a mild Mad Max build. Mild. What do I mean by mild? By mild, I mean we're not going to put some crazy bumpers. We're not going to do anything crazy like that because this is a daily. And not only that, I am going to be getting rid of the vehicle to purchase the next vehicle, which will be the crazy Max uh, the Mad Max build that I've been always thinking of. So in order to fund for that, I'm going to have to invest a little bit into this vehicle just to make it a little bit more fun, a little bit cooler. And we are going to be getting bigger tires. We're going to be adjusting the suspension. Um, we are going to be doing something to the paint. I'm not sure what quite yet. Um, I really wanted to just like respray the same color but I'm not sure yet uh, let me show you guys up here you guys can see all the crazy scratches that are up here especially in the back and all those crazy scratches are from the girls putting their purse up there sliding putting the purse up there and sliding over magic and over magic over and over all the time and I know this because I've caught them many times and I've noticed the scratches over the years are getting worse and worse um, this gas cap on this side as you guys can see there goes the train again you know what I'm gonna have to wait it's kind of loud we're gonna have to wait 2,000 years later all right, the train just went by. So like I was saying, this gas cap got damaged. When I used to live in the hood, somebody went around and they damaged all the, the caps on a bunch of cars. Like they hit like 10 cars in a row. And all they did was like, they grabbed it, they bend it. They went to the next car, they grabbed it, they bend it. So I went to the junkyard, cause this was all bent. They had bent it like completely like this and they had pushed it in this way. So that's why I got a little ding right here. But I went to the junkyard and I found a 
gas cap and it was blue and I went ahead and I used a rust-oleum to get it this color right here which kind of blends in but not really but it, it kind of blends in um, let me see another thing I have a bunch of parts that are on the way right now for this vehicle for this build so the next few weeks I'm gonna try to post up at least one video or two videos during the week um, I'm really gonna try to get as much content out as I can not how I usually do it because it's been uh, pretty hard lately but I'm gonna try to space this out so I have content for you guys for the next few weeks also if anybody wants to help out or wants to donate to the channel uh, donate for the build All right there is a link down below and even five bucks would help out just to order some some stuff that I still need for it um, I still got to get the tires I still got to get a bunch of things little things that I want to do to this vehicle we are going to be getting it ready for winter so we're going to be replacing the wipers we're going to be checking all our fluids I recently did an oil change on this so it's good on the oil but we still got to do a bunch of little things to it remember this is going to be the mild Mad Max build and I'm really hoping that you guys are going to enjoy this so if you guys think of any cool ideas that I could add to this Go ahead and comment below and let me know also i've been in touch with chris from overspray if you guys don't know chris go over to his channel i'm gonna link um his channel down below and go subscribe to him he's got some really nice uh content on painting he's got a lot a lot of content actually and he does a lot of reviews he's got reviews of harbor freight guns he's got um reviews of all kinds of of uh guns therefore you can have an idea on what kind of a gun you would need to to lay paint down and he also compares them so you can see what one gun does versus the other gun which is pretty cool so his link is going to be down in the description down below so please go check him out and i think this is going to be the end of the video i will catch you guys on my next one peace out stay safe and next time we're starting on that